Welcome back to No Ordinary Path. We have been doing a lot of touristy sightseeing and not so much outdoorsy things, which is weird because our family is pretty outdoorsy, we like to think anyways. We love to do things like climbing and biking and hiking. So we thought for this episode, we would show you a little of the taste of outdoors that we've gotten in the Baltimore area. We're the Farnsworths, John, Kristen, Aaron, Ethan, Chloe, and Cinder. We are currently exploring the East Coast while John takes on his first travel nurse assignment, and we're so glad you're here. First up, we're going to take you to Gunpowder Falls State Park with us. This is an area that we absolutely had a fabulous time at. We took the kids climbing and we found that there aren't a ton of places to climb outdoors here. They do, however, have an earth treks here. What? We love earth treks. But as far as outdoor climbing, we found this spot and it actually is in an area that you can just park on the side of the road and then hike to and you don't have to, there's no like state park fee or anything like that. Um, and it follows the Gunpowder Falls, the, the, the little Gunpowder Falls River, I believe. And uh, we saw a really awesome swimming hole that we wanted so badly to get back to and we just haven't had a chance and now it's starting to get cooler. So we probably won't make it back there. But there was a really great little swimming hole where people were putting their rafts in and just kind of like floating along and it was super fun. We had a great day climbing there. Hand, walk across. If he had a coat, he'd do it with his coat. Oh, okay, cross that one. You could. Next, we went and checked out Jones Falls Bike Path. Actually, it's a multi-function, multi-use path. JF, which was fun, because John Farnsworth. Um, so we followed his initials all over Baltimore. It actually goes all the way down to Inner Harbor. We didn't quite make it that far. We went as far as um, Druid Hill, near the zoo. And we turned around and came back from there. But we, overall, that day we rode 10 miles. And the kids did fabulous. There was a lot of encouraging going on but we uh, made it through our little 10 mile jaunt and then they passed out promptly in the car on the way home. <laughs> We are here at Harper's Ferry, and this is one of the main areas that the Appalachian Trail crosses. What did we get for Cinder? <gasps> A Bark Ranger bandana! about ready to go up the official Appalachian Trail staircase. Whew. We're here in the midpoint 
love the Appalachian Trail. And mommy's very out of breath. Don't fall off, little man. This is probably the last hike in the Poco. Yeah. It's getting too much. She's getting a little big girl, much. aren't you, huh? such a cool place for so many different reasons but uh, hope to be here again someday one of the things that we have found recently a purchase that we made that we love is cinder's new leash it wraps around your waist and buckles so you can be completely hands-free and it has a bungee on it so when she starts to pull it gives her a little nudge and she knows that she's going too far without knocking one of us over I bought this $1.60. I only have nine cents left, and I want Dad to enjoy the Snickerbar. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, this is for you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Shenandoah River and then this is the Potomac and this is where they converge and head out to the Atlantic Ocean. Cool fact, we parked next to the Potomac when we visited Washington DC. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Um, I don't know how to say it. Oh my <laughs> Join us next week. Join us next week. <laughs>